can sinus problem cause toothache? Um, this is what we are going to look into this video. This is Dr. Arun uh, from Pearls Industry running a dental centers at Chennai Raja Namali Puram since the year 2001. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel Pearls Industry, please do subscribe to our channel. We have got a whole bunch of videos coming out. To answer short, a sinusitis or a sinus inflammation can cause a toothache or can mimic a toothache. Important thing is how do we differentiate between a sinus pain and a tooth pain is what that we will look into this video. So basically we've got four pairs of sinus. These are just nothing but air fill sacs. You've got the maxillary sinus, the ethmoidal, the sphenoidal and the frontal sinus. These are the four different sinus that we have. Most commonly the maxillary sinus that is the sinus that is present in the upper jaw bone which is called the maxilla, the upper jaw bone, the sinus, which is an air filled sac that is present in the upper jaw bone. When the sinus gets inflamed, which is called sinusitis. So basically the sinus, even though it's an air filled sac, it is lined by a small membrane, the sinus membrane. When it gets inflamed, it's called sinusitis. That's inflammation of the membrane. So when the sinus membrane gets inflamed, you can have tenderness over the sinus area, tenderness next to the nose, probably around the forehead can have a headache and also it can cause pain next to our upper back teeth or the upper molar teeth both the left and the right side some people will have only on one side it not ne not necessarily that it has to be having pain on both the sides it can be just on one side also the pain can be either the left or the right side the reason it occurs is our upper molar teeth and the, the roots of the upper molar teeth and the maxillary sinus the uh, the bone that is around the roots of the molar teeth are in very close proximity so almost there is a common innervation common nerve supply and most instances when you take an x-ray we can see actually the sinus lining dipping between the upper molar teeth because they are in close proximity any inflammation in the sinus can get the pain can get referred to the teeth and it will feel as if it's a tooth pain now how do we differentiate between a classical toothache? It can be like a wisdom tooth, upper molar or a decay pain and a sinus pain is. Usually a wisdom tooth pain or, or a particular decay tooth pain will be localized to one particular tooth. It won't be generalized. Even though it can get referred back to the ears and to the jaws, usually we'll be able to pinpoint and localize to the tooth. And there will be either an offending cause. There will either be a gum infection or either uh, there is going to be a decay where we can attribute to the reason of the toothache but when it comes to sinus it is more generalized most of our tooth in the back will have pain and we'll have tenderness over the, our maxillary sinus next to the nose that area we'll have tenderness on the outside as well as on the inside so that is an, and, and the tooth will be free from an infection either from a, a, a gum infection or a decay so this is one of the differentiating factors which will, dif which will help us to differentiate between a sinus pain and a tooth pain and also when you take an x-ray We'll, we can we can see the tooth are healthy and we can see the sinus lining dipping into the tooth surface and sometimes when we take a sinus view x-ray we can actually see the inflamed sinus and also patient can you know present with a symptom of a mild cold or or, or, or they could have given you a history of having something really cold and and and, 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 and that started as sinus inflammation so these the, they can present with an actual reason why the sinusitis has started uh, treatment of course weight and review a uh, steam inhalation will do wonders will help to clear the sinus any uh, inflammatory fluid that is there is going to get drained a steam a steam in inhalation will definitely help and of course uh, best is to go meet your ENT doctor and get their opinion to see what needs to be done if you have any questions please do ask in the comment section below we'll be happy to answer do like and uh, and then subscribe and then also share our video thank you dr arun from pearls industry do you like the video press the like button do subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive such videos thank you